On today's ChurchTechCast.com screencast show, putting ProPresenter on a new computer. Hi, and welcome again to another episode of the ChurchTechCast.com screencast show. This is the show where every week I help you with software that we use in the church. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. I'm your host. I'd love for you to ask your question, so just do that below the video. That's perfectly fine. As always, the best conversations happen over at my website, so head on over there as well, trinitydigitalmedia.com. So... This actually arises from a problem that my wife had. Um, At church, she is in charge of the preschoolers, and they use ProPresenter in their program, and they ran into a problem. Their iMac was way too old for what they were trying to do. So they talked to the IT guy who said, oh, yeah, no problem. We've got an iMac that we can use for this purpose. No problem. So she said to me, Paul, you know something about ProPresenter. And I said, yes, I do. Um, How can you make my screen on the new computer look exactly like it did on the old computer? So I told her that basically they could copy everything from the old computer, put it in the exact same location and everything like that. Unfortunately, the IT guy didn't do that. So the next thing to do is, well, let me show you how to do it by going over to my computer and we'll take a look at just some of the different things that you need to move. Okay, so when my wife wanted to do this, she drew on the whiteboard. She said, okay, Paul, I want all of this stuff on my new computer. So this is how I would go about doing the movement of all of this stuff onto her new computer. So first we're going to go to ProPresenter and then Preferences. And here's where most of the work happens. You see these little, um, I was going to say looking glasses, they're actually magnifying glasses. See these magnifying glasses? They will take you directly to the folder listed here. So first off, I want the library. So I'm going to click this, and that takes me to the folder. And I've got this turned on. This is a a preference in OS X. But basically, this shows me the path. So this is where I'm going to want to put this folder, this ProPresenter 6 folder, on the new computer. Okay? So I want to copy this folder. Then, that gives me this guy right over here, this library. Now, now, now I want the support files. That should give me all the templates, um, all the extraneous stuff. It should give me everything that, that I'm going to need that I don't get from the media down here. But I'm going to also show you a way to get that stuff as well, just as a backup. So we'll talk about that in a second. So next, I'm going to go here. And this is under My Hard Drive, then Users, then My Name, Library, Application Support, Renewed Vision, again, ProPresenter 6. I want to copy this folder. I can do this over the network with an external hard drive either way. but that's what I want to do is I want to move this folder as well to the exact same file path. Then, so that is the library right here. Applic- uh, support files, that is basically your, your templates, um, some of the extraneous media that goes with it, things like that. That should all be there. Next, the media repository. The first thing that you want to do is, if you do not have this checkbox checked, I want you to check it. 
that might mess thing mess up your file structure if you were going to use this computer again but if you're not you remember we got a new computer just check this restart pro presenter it should move everything into these two folders so basically we're gonna get everything from these two folders and again to get to that folder you click on the magnifying glass so it's renewed vision media I'm just gonna get all of renewed vision media and put that in my main hard drive users shared renewed vision media and the reason that this is a shared folder is right up here so your file path might be different in the support files if you've got the custom path chosen or if you've got for all users chosen but whatever you do make sure that you duplicate these file paths in the new computer and put this media in those places okay so do that so basically we've got three folders we're dealing with we're dealing with the library folder the support files folder and the media repository folder those are three the three you're going to want bare minimum the media repository is going to be the biggest by far these two are going to be fairly small the library is going to be itty bitty because it's just basically a bunch of text files the support files has some media in it um, but that's it so that's step number one um, you're also going to want if you have any of these modules you'll want the keys that enable those so make sure you get this you're going to want the key for ProPresenter itself so make sure you find that email from Renewed Vision or wherever you have it make sure that you have that otherwise you're going to be like me and have this um, this watermark on it now you can contact Renewed Vision and get this but if you're doing this Saturday night and Sunday morning is church or whatever that's going to be a bit of a problem so make sure you have all that before you go on now just to be sure you should have pretty much everything at this point but if you want to keep your playlists what I would do is I would select each playlist and go file export playlist and export the playlist you don't need to include the media within the presentations because you should have that from earlier but I would export these just to be super safe so you would click save I click cancel because I'm just showing you what to do okay the other thing that I would want to do is I would want to export the templates so we're gonna file export templates just in case you may not need all of them but better to have them and not need them than need them and not have them right so uh, looks like someone had a question for me I should turn that off anyway so check all the ones you want to keep by default they should all be checked you can just uncheck the ones you don't want let's say you've got a couple of the old ones like I do here then you click export that'll export those again I think those are going to be in your application support but I'd rather have them so do that and uh, get all your keys put in make sure that your file paths are identical um, so that pro presenter when it starts up you you don't have to import these uh, generally but when it starts up it needs to look where the folder is so if it's looking in a different place make sure you put the folder where it's looking or you tell it to look where the folder is doesn't matter which but just keep that in mind and it should restore everything to the way that it was on the old computer well how'd that work I hope that that helped you I hope the next time that you need to move from one computer to another computer you know okay I'm just gonna move these files put them in the right place start up ProPresenter and I'll be golden if this has helped you you'd probably like my email newsletter so head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com gifts 
and there you can pick up a church tech gift along with a free subscription to my email newsletter. You'd also probably like the stuff in my store, so head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash store as well. There you can pick up some church tech goodies that I've made with you in mind. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with trinitydigitalmedia.com. Go out and change eternity. Thank you.